Hey everybody, I'm back. Uh, here's part two of the Allen Encore amp. There are a couple things I missed in the first video uh, that I wanted to kind of run through. Uh, we've already covered the raw control. We've covered the speed depth for tremolo. Um, and uh, so I thought also just to make it more fun, here's my uh, what they call the Fender Offset Style Guitar, the Jazzmaster. Uh, this is a 1963 uh, version, not version, but <laughs> model. It's from 1963. Uh, I was able to, only able to afford it because somebody had refinished it in a fantastic candy apple red. Not my primary favorite color, but I'm more of a Fiesta red guy. But this thing is beautiful, so even with a little ding here and there, it's not too shabby. So here we are in the bridge position. I'll just run through these real quick. Bridge in the middle. Neck. If I use the upper uh, alternate circuit here, it's got a nice uh, jazzy kind of feel. You get your own kind of still neck control. I can't play, so let's move on. Let's get it back down. Let's put it in the middle. So, uh, anyway, uh, regarding the Allen Encore here, let's uh, dial up the reverb. We're at about six right now. Let's get it to about eight. And we have tone on. Let's dial the tone back to zero for a sec. Let's kick it up to seven.
step back down just a skosh. Uh, we'll go back to eight. We'll keep tone on ten. Yeah, that sounds delicious. So this is a pretty good onboard reverb. I have uh, reverb units, uh, 64 and a 63 and a 64. I have two of them because I'm obsessed and I found good deals on both. Well, I found the 64 first, but I wanted the 63 since that's my birth year because I'm ancient as ancient as the hills. Uh, but anyway, uh, but this is pretty decent reverb. Nice and wet. The other thing I forgot to do in the uh, first video, we'll call that part one, this being part two. Uh, we were in the normal switch, there's no name for it, but the non-bright switch. So let's go up to the bright switch. Uh, so here, here's... Okay, that's non-bright. And here's bright. Spiky, probably. Let's go to the bridge. switch. I think I like it non-bright. start playing the 63 jazz master I kind of go next uh, so what else do we got so why don't we do a little for funsies we'll kick the speed and the depth up to five so I have some reverb laden <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
uh, I, I noted it was 40 watts. Um, I think it depends on the two, uh, type tubes you have, 6L6s. I think the basic 6L6, maybe it's more like 30 to 35 watts. But if you have a 6L6S, this is just the information I got off when I, when I bought the thing. It, um, and I think I put that information on the message boards where I posted about this amp. Uh, so, but with the 6L6S, again, I don't know nothing from tubes um, that it might boost it up to 40. Either way, it's plenty loud. And it definitely holds its own. I'm really happy with it. It's a great amp. Uh, he, Mr. David Allen makes some really nice amps. Uh, there's, you should check out his website. I'm not paid by him or anything, for goodness sakes. Um, and there's probably some I'll commission to have, but this was a kit, uh, a kit uh, built head that somebody made again, and uh, they sold it on to somebody else who then put it on reverb to sell it down the road. And now I was there and I saw it was a great deal. And I needed to pair up an eight ohm uh, head with this 15 inch tone ring um, amp. It's got an old uh, JBL 140D or 140F, well, I forget, whatever I said in the last video. Um, clearly I'm not a man about details. <laughs> uh, but anyway, oh, let me kill the, uh, kill the death. Now, so we got that, we're back there. I wonder what rock sounds like with the reverb and everything. So we got rock. through a band mix or not, but for home it's kind of cool. So we can go back up to about seven. Oh yeah, again, somebody on a uh, fellow member of one of the Gretsch pages, I think the Gretsch pages was asking about the, uh, how wet can this amp go? It can go pretty wet. find this and uh, there's a, I think somebody's driving by the bell and the dogs are barking so it's time to go if you have any questions hit me up and uh, you can email me at surfysonic at uh, gmail hello guys let's all bark and uh, or you can find me on either the Gretsch pages surf guitar 101 uh, the Gretsch talk offset guitar dot com find me talk to me Love me. No, I'm kidding. Uh, it's always good to say hello. Uh, I've got other guitars and uh, amps to demonstrate down the road, and I'm going to do that. I'll figure out what I'm going to do next, but I wanted to follow up with this one since there were a couple things I missed. But anyway, happily, this uh, amp, by the way, has an 8 ohm and a 4 ohm switch in the back. I'm not going to lift it up and turn it around. Um, if you go to any of those pages where I do a new amp day, Emma, hush, then uh, you'll see that I posted the back picture and you can see that. Uh, if you go to any of those sites I mentioned. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so I'm very happy. And uh, it's great. And I've got plenty of other gear to demonstrate down there. All right, well, thanks for your time. I think that'll do it. Let me put the old 63 down. I'll tell you, if you, if you ever get a vintage guitar, the necks on these 63s. I'm more of a chunky kind of neck guy, and these are, they fit great in my hand. They're, they're definitely like the mid 60s of the modern uh, replicas of those. Hey, Grace, let's get away from the guitar, because you're going to knock it over. Yes, you are. Um, anyway, let me put this on standby. And uh, yeah, you can check it out. There, that's a great guitar. I'll demo it some more in the future. Um, I've got a 63 Jag, i got some 65, 66 Mustangs. Emma's got a big old bark, and I don't think that's mom. 
I think what you were hearing was uh, somebody else. Anyway, got to go. We'll talk to you next time, and we'll demo some more brush guitars, more Fender guitars. Those are my two primary guitars. I do have a Dan Electro as well that I'll demo at some point. Oh, Mommy's home. Got to go. We'll talk to you later before the dogs go crazy.